Meet my never lucky Iron Man, forks only, no spoons allowed here. After maxing my main, and nearly maxing my Iron Man, I wanted to try something new. RuneScape with getting unlucky on every grind in the game. If I get any drop before the drop rate, I can't use or keep it. Valuable items will periodically be given out to viewers and subs. My goal is to complete the Inferno, and I'm not going to stop there. Please subscribe to my only forks. I, I mean, forks only. What is up gamers, Fcast and Chill here. Right now I'm actually running back to the Tithe Farm minigame because now I can buy my herb sack. I got level 58 herb lore after completing Recipe for Disaster and that's a requirement for the herb sack, which is pretty nice because it can help store grimy herbs for you, so that's pretty cool. Um, I have a lot of points left here, I could buy some other things, but I'll pass for now. I'll come back to Tithe Farm at some other point. I'm just going to do some herb runs now to try to get more Ranars. So today I'm going to actually try to wrap up my gear that I need to get my fire cape. So there's two more things really that I think I want to get in terms of gear upgrades before I'm ready to go. And so the first thing is I got a magic shortbow a couple episodes back, but there's the magic shortbow and bew scroll that you can get from Last Man Standing. And this scroll actually increases the magic shortbow's attack bonus from plus 69 to plus 75, which is really helpful for enemies with higher defense which, you know, the majors in the fight caves, as well as Jad, you know, that's going to make a big difference. And then also, it lowers the amount of energy you use for the special attack from 55% to 50%. Not a huge deal, but, you know, every little bit helps. So, we're definitely going to get this imbue scroll to upgrade our magic shortbow. And then also, Last Man Standing allows you to buy rune arrows, and I'm going to try to get quite a few of those, because... I'm going to use those for the fight caves. So I've actually never done a low level fire cape before. I've done one with a blowpipe and you know one with a bofa of course, but I've never done one with poverty gear like a magic shortbow and green dragon hide. So it'll be pretty interesting, but I'm not actually sure exactly how many rune arrows I'm going to need, but I'm going to need rune arrows for other things too like barrows. So I'm probably just going to get about 3000 of them and then go from there. So yeah, I guess that means that we need to go to Last Man Standing to start getting these upgrades. So the problem with Last Man Standing is it's PvP based and I have literally zero PvP experience, so it'll be interesting. So I talked to a couple of my friends who are pretty experienced and very good PvPers and they gave me some basic tips on Last Man Standing and how to set things up. So we're just going to try that, but I, I can guarantee it's not going to go well just because I've never done it. Um, a lot of experience with fighting against, you know, monsters like PVMing, but my PvP is atrocious. So yeah, we're just going into this game and going to see how it goes. There's a countdown here. Um, just drinking a brew and then a restore to get my health up a little bit first. But let's see. So, oh, okay. Um, this guy is just chasing me with his staff and bashing me, so I guess I should just use melee and special attacks. I I'm almost positive this is a bot. I think bots actually do this sometimes just because they can occasionally get kills and rack up points, but yeah, it it I guess it's nice to get my first kill on a bot like that pretty easy. But um, yeah, so the way Last Man Standing works, if you don't know, is it's essentially like a battle royale game. So I don't know if any of you have ever played Fortnite or PUBG, you know, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. It really is just you start out with 24 people in the game spread out across the map, and the last man surviving wins. And so you can fight people, and when you fight them, if you get a kill, you get a key that can be used to open one of these chests with some gear upgrades. And there's actually some fog that will close in toward the center of the map or a certain location over time. And if you're outside of the safe area, then the fog will kill you pretty quickly. So it, it really is just a rip off of, you know, one of those battle royale games like Fortnite, but in RuneScape. And so with PvP, you know, you're, you have to switch quickly between your magic attacks, your ranged attacks, and then melee, depending on what the other person's praying. You know, you want to make sure you're hitting them off prayer. Like if they're praying protect from magic, then you probably want to hit them with ranged or melee. And, you know, same thing for all the others. And it's, you also want to make sure that you have your prayers up to block what they're doing. 
So really, there's, there's a lot to do at once. It's really challenging, and like I said, I'm terrible at it. So we're gonna just keep going and see how this goes and try to get some wins, or, you know, maybe not wins, at least just some kills. So whenever you get kills, you do get points, but the longer you survive in a game, the more points you get. So one strategy is just get one kill and then hide until there's nine people left alive, because then you're guaranteed to get two points for the game. But I'm, I'm not going to do that too much just because I, I want to get better at PvP, so I'm going to try to fight people. So let's try to barrage this guy and see how it goes. So it looks like I whiffed there on him, so that didn't go too well. But again, I have no idea what I'm doing. but. Yeah, let's let's just see how this goes. Um, I, I don't know. I guess I'll try meleeing him. Oh, I don't have piety. I, yeah, this is the one uh, defense low level PvP, so I don't know what I'm doing. And I guess I'm stuck here. And yeah, I, I'm just getting wrecked. This is really embarrassing. Oh, I got a good hit in, but yeah. I, oh, okay. Yeah, this is... Oh, I actually killed him somehow. Okay. Well... Uh, Seer's Ring, I don't think I really want that. Let's see what we get in this chest. Oh, Staff of the Dead. That's actually really nice because you get plus 15% magic damage, but this guy's chasing me and I'm trying to organize my inventory and don't really know what I'm doing. I didn't even equip my Staff of the Dead because I'm just really bad and there's a lot going on at once. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to end up getting wrecked by this guy because you can see he has a, a 2205 rating. There's a plugin that tells you the rating under the character and 2205 is pretty high for someone just starting out, so I'm, I'm definitely going to get squashed here, but it, it's okay. I'll um, I'll get better over time and figure out what I'm doing, because right now it's, it's not going well. Anyway, I'm going to fast forward a bit. So now we're about an hour or two later. Um, definitely gotten a bit better, but still have a lot of work to do. So um, yeah, things are going pretty well. I'm at 31 points you can see at the bottom, so for the amount of rune arrows I want, the magic short uh, bow scroll, and the rune pouch that I want as well. I'm going to need quite a lot of points, but um, yeah, it's it's all right. I'm, I'm actually having fun. You know, I'm, I'm terrible at this, and you can see I'm messing up prayers constantly, and you know, I'm still attacking him with magic even though he has protect from mage up, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good time. So it, it, it's, it, yeah, just very challenging. This guy changed to protect from mage and I got a hit in on him. Nice. Uh, I keep forgetting when I brew down, I don't have the magic level to cast barrage, so it keeps throwing me off. But yeah. Um, anyway, so the points. So we need 75 points for the rune pouch. We need 5 points for the magic shortbow scroll. And then I'm going to need about 30 points for all the rune arrows I want. Wow, I actually killed that guy. That was pretty surprising because I feel like I started off really poorly there. That's nice. But anyway, so that means that the total number of points I need for everything I want right now is 110. And after about, like I said, an hour and a half or so, I'm at 31. So that'll take a while. But um, the reason I want 75 points for the rune pouch is the rune pouch is just an excellent item utility-wise. You know, you can store three runes in it at once, three different rune types, and it only takes up one inventory slot. So that actually is going to be useful for the fight caves because... I don't know if you guys know this, but, um, you know, if you use your ancient magics, then you can actually use spells, blood spells, to heal up. And so what I plan on doing for my fight caves, fire cape, is I'm going to be on the ancient spellbook and bring enough casts of blood spells to heal up on waves whenever I get damaged. So, you know, once I get to a point where I'm safe from something, then I can just keep casting blood spells to um, sap HP from some of the enemies and that's going to be really useful because then I don't have to bring as much food as I would have to otherwise. It, it makes a huge difference. So yeah, I'm going to definitely want that rune pouch. But yeah, you can see here I'm still just running around in this last man standing game. Let's kind of go forward until we find somebody. Um, okay, and it looks like, yeah, there's somebody over here. So let's go ahead and cast magic on him and see how this goes there we go it looks like i got a hit off even though he had protect from mage on then i changed to range and now i'm ranging him he changed to protect from range so i'm going back to cast magic he changed to magic so i'm going to cast rain uh change back to my bow and okay he's protecting from range now so i change back to magic 
and now he's changing to protect from magic, so I'm going to range. So you can see I've gotten a lot better at this. Still not perfect. Oh, he got his whip out, so I gotta pray protect from melee. But let's see. Yeah, he still has his whip out, so I'm just gonna keep melee on. I'm just gonna use my specs, and th there I go. I got another kill. Wow, a two kill game. Not bad at all. I think I got one three kill game in this whole time, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely improving. Having a ton of fun doing this Last Man Standing. I, I recommend you guys check it out if you haven't tried it before. Like, I've definitely always been averse to PvP because my PvP experience is getting killed in Wildy when I'm trying to, you know, train prayer, or do clue steps or something. But it, it really is a lot of fun. I, I'm definitely going to come back here regularly to get more rune arrows in the future. But. Yeah, uh, I'm going to fast forward a bit and hopefully we can get all the points that we need for everything. So I'll see you guys back in a few hours after I do some more Last Man Standing. Alright, and this is several hours later after I've already gotten a ton of experience doing this. That was kind of an embarrassing death, but you can see now my point total is 76. So I'm going to open up this store with Justine and I will be able to buy my rune pouch. So let's scroll down to it here and see rune pouch 75 points and yeah, confirm. Awesome. So yeah, now I'm able to store three runes in one inventory slot. I also already bought my magic shortbow scroll. So now the next thing is to get rune arrows. So it's three points for 300. And remember I said, I'm gonna try to get 3000. So I'm gonna do some more of this and just get some rune arrows, but I don't need to show it all right now. Um, yeah. Good fun mini game. I'm terrible at it, but slowly getting better. But yeah, it's 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 a good time. So I'm gonna go talk about something else that I need now for my fire cape. So again, I needed the rune arrows and the magic shortbow scroll. But the last thing I need is a better pair of boots. So I was able to buy the green dragon hide chest and uh, pants from you know just like different NPCs. I think the Champions Guild had had some of them. Um, and now I have a great glove slot with the Barrow's Gloves. I bought an Archer Helm uh, out in the, you know, Relica Viking City, so that's going to be great. I have an Amulet of Accuracy, which, you know, gives me more range bonus. And I was just going to use the Ava's Accumulator, since that saves some of my ammo. and also gives me some ranged attack bonus. So I really have most things covered. I just don't have any boots that are helpful for ranged. And so I'm going to get a pair of boots that's going to help out with that. But the two most obvious ones that people usually go for are the ranger boots, which are about a 1 in 283 drop from a medium clue. And the other one is a blessed dehyde boots. So there's five different gods that you can get. There's like you know, the Ceridomen, Guthix, the Zamorak, Armadil, and then the Ancient Boots. And so you could get any of these from a hard clue, but each one is a 1 in 325. So I would need to complete at least 325 hard clues before I could keep one. And that's not really feasible right now for getting a fire cape. You know, eventually that would be very nice to have these boots for the Inferno. But right now, I'm just gonna try to get something passable. And so I was looking at the different boots that you can use, and there's actually one, which are the Shazen boots, that have a little bit of a plus ranged attack bonus. And they're pretty easy to get, actually. All you need to get the Shazen boots level five is 100% Shazen favor. And so let's go get that favor, and then I can get these boots, and then take them to the fight caves. I think we'll be ready to go after that. If you remember from a few episodes back, I got to 5% Shays in favor just from giving soldiers, wounded soldiers, health packs. And so that was actually fairly quick. But now that I have 5% favor, what I can do is kill these lizards down here for a Xerix Talisman. But before I do that, I'm actually going to complete the easy Orin and Kebo diary. Because if you complete the easy diary, it doubles the drop rate of the Xerix Talisman. So it's typically a 1 in 250, but it goes up to 1 in 200, uh, or 1 in 125 if you complete the diary. And then so you can see I've completed the diary here, and then now let's go kill some lizards. And so I'm not going to be able to pick up this Xerix Talisman. Um, you can see I actually got one here after about 10 kills, but I'm not going to be able to pick that up until I've killed 125. 
And just to be true to the account, there's both Lizardmen down here and Lizardmen Brutes, and they each have a 1 in 125 drop rate. So if I kill, you know, let's say 100 Lizardmen and 25 of the Lizardmen Brutes, that means I still haven't killed 125 of one of them, so I wouldn't be able to pick up the Talisman. So in that, uh, with that note, I'm only going to be killing the Lizardmen here, so I'm going to ignore the Lizardmen Brutes and hopefully it won't take too long. Each one of these you kill gives you a little bit of Shays in favor, so that's pretty nice. But yeah, let's go kill these guys for a while. All right, and I actually just teleported out as one of them died because I was out of my anti-poison, but, or not anti-poison, um, prayer, sorry, wrong thing, prayer points. But yeah, he dropped it, Zarek's Talisman right when I hit the teleport, and I've killed about 180 of them now, so I'm able to keep it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna run back here and grab it. Hopefully it will still be there, and you can see it's still there on the ground, which is nice. So let's go ahead and grab that. And you can see my favor here is 20.2. Sorry, I said 180 before, I meant 150. So they each give 0.1 favor, so killing 50, 150 of them took me from 5% to 20% favor. So yeah, I got my Xerix Talisman. The reason I wanted that, by the way, is so you can mount it in your player-owned house later and use it for a lot of useful teleports. One's very close to the Hosidius farming patch, and that's going to be awesome. It's also useful for teleporting to Chambers of Xerix later. But yeah, now that I have that, the next step is I'm just going to go back and give more med packs to the soldiers because that's going to be faster than um, killing these lizard guys for favor. And once I get to 40 favor, then I'm actually going to go break up organized crime. And you can see that here. So I'm here fighting these gang members because um, that's something you can do for Shazen. You talk to the captain in the Shazen tent and she'll tell you where the organized crime meetings are. You just come here and kill all these guys and you get a ton of favor extremely quickly. A little dangerous, but with pr overhead protection prayers, it's not too bad at all. And um, yeah, I guess I'm being like Batman or something, just going around breaking up organized crime as a vigilante, but... Yeah, it, it's it's all good. Uh, the, the sad thing is these guys drop some pretty good stuff, but I'm not going to be able to pick it up because it's definitely going to be below the drop rate. Um, the intelligence, I believe, is a 100% drop rate from the gang boss, so I can keep that one. But a, a lot of the planks that these guys drop, I'm not going to be able to hold on to. But that's fine. I'm just going to kill these guys for a bit until I'm able to use the combat ring, and then I'll go to that for, to finish out my favor. So yeah, let's go ahead and skip ahead. So now I'm heading over to the Shazen combat ring. And so you have to start with the tier one soldier here and kill it enough to get a full set of tier one armor. And then from there, you can move on to the tier two soldier and so on up to the tier five. And so it, there's five different pieces of the Shazen armor. And so I'll have to kill each one five times. But once I've killed the tier five Shazen soldier, then I will be able to keep that armor and the shades and boots are what we're after. So let's start off with the tier one here. These guys only use melee and so you can just protect from melee and it's no problem at all. And actually pretty easy and you can see they die pretty quickly, at least the tier one guy does. So I'm just going to hang out here for a little while and grab all these pieces of armor and eventually get the boots. All right, and now I've gotten the maximum shays in favor, so I'm able to fight tier five soldier. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Let's fight. I should probably equip my dragon scimitar instead of beating him with the staff, but yeah, all right. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out here and kill him five times to get all the pieces. And hopefully I can get that in before the system updates done uh, or, you know, kicks me off. I I'm sure I can, it's not going to be an issue. This guy has significantly more defense though and health than the lower tier guys, but still not too bad. No match for my Dragon Scimitar, so yeah, let's see. Almost dead, and there we go. And oh, we already got the Shays and Boots, so that's exactly what I wanted. You can see they have a plus four range attack bonus there, and that's what I needed for the fight caves. So I'm done now. I have all of my gear that I need to take on the fight caves, and I'm going to be doing that in the next episode. Definitely going to be on a budget. As you can see here, this is going to be my setup, but 
yeah, let's let's do it. I'm really pumped. I'm excited to jump in, and yeah, that's what it's gonna be next time. So we're gonna see me do a low level fire cape with some poverty gear. But you know, that's what this account's about. You know, doing what I can with what I have and just going forward. It's kind of crazy to think I'm already almost at the fight caves and have a fire cape after all the stuff that's happened. You know, I almost died in Varrock agility, so <laughs> it's come a long way. I'm, I'm glad I still have my hardcore status, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time and we'll dive right into the fight caves. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. All right, bye.